Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated Al Rafa Club on winning Nasser bin Hamad Premier League 2020-2021 title for the 13th time in the club's history. His Highness stated that the new achievement of Al Rafa Club reflects the advanced level of the team and the great levels presented by the players throughout their careers in the competitions. In addition to the efforts of the technical and administrative bodies to reach this level. His Highness Sheikh Nasser stressed that uh, these achievements is a result of the continuous follow-up of the club's board of directors headed by Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid Al Khalifa and their keenness to create the ideal atmosphere leading to the team's crowning with the league title. He expressed wishes to the team for continued progress and success in the upcoming competitions. The Shura Council held its weekly session remotely presided over by its chairman, Ali bin Saleh al -Saleh. The meeting discussed and approved the report of the Foreign Affairs, Defense and National Security Committee regarding a draft law on Bahrain's accession to, uh, accession to the Treaty on the Preservation of uh, Migratory Species of Wild Animals. The Council also discussed and approved the report of the Financial and Economic Affairs Committee on a draft law amending the Letters and Electronic Transactions Law. It has also discussed and approved the report of the Public Utilities and Environment Committee on a draft law amending the Civil Aviation Regulatory Law. The Council then approved it to hold an extraordinary session on Wednesday. The Minister of Labour and Social Development, Jamil Ahmedan, chaired the second meeting of the High Committee for the Affairs of Persons with Disabilities, held remotely in the presence of the committee members. During the meeting, the members discussed the first draft of Bahrain's second report on the rights of persons with disabilities, which contains the steps that the Kingdom has taken to increase the effective participation of government, private and civil institutions to provide the best services for persons with disabilities and to protect their rights and dignity. The meeting also studied the national National strategy for the rights of persons with disabilities and reviewed the outcomes of the first meeting of the Joint Gulf Supreme Committee to organize the sixth uh, theater festival for persons with disabilities. On the occasion, the minister hailed the efforts exerted to serve and support the affairs of persons with disabilities. He noted the importance of developing the strategy and national plan for the rights of persons with disabilities continuously and in accordance with Bahrain's remarkable achievements in serving this group. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 652,170 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 516,480 had taken the second. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 10,514 with 1,065 recoveries and 1,081 registered new cases and three deaths. 432 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 586 are contacts of active cases and 63 are travel related. The deceased were a male citizen aged 61 and two male expatriates aged 56 and 45. The ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for combating the coronavirus.